Welcome back. When I last left you, we had arrived in Bermuda to take possession of the Hans 548, a German-built boat, 98-99 year, with a beam of 5.05 meters, a length of 16.22 meters, a waterline at 15, mast 24.7 meters, mainsail, handles wind at 77.40 meters, and the Jenniker, a massive 210 meters. Her max crew is 12. She has a deep V keel and a Yanmar 120 horsepower diesel engine pushing her through the water when the winds aren't there. As we move into day four and five, we're 414 nautical miles from our destination. If you'd have told me a decade ago that I'd be traversing the Atlantic, delivering a yacht from island to island, I might have laughed and written you off. Alas, I was a much different person then and probably one you wouldn't like very much. I've been sailing for the better half of my life and mostly the better part of 15 years racing. And now I get a chance to do something really cool. Life is like the wind, when the wind shifts and the storms of life blow in, something to hold on to. Wind and the water have always been there for me. Faith saved me, but sailing restored me. Now, I had been attempting to fish with a hand line since we left St. George's, but the morning of the fourth day brought us a little gift. There were some flying fish on deck, and so I quickly hooked one of those guys into a squid poly bait and threw it out. I also threw out two other lines. We ended up catching some fish. We ended up catching a mahi and a wahoo, something I'd never caught before, and certainly the largest fish I had ever reeled in. They were quite amazing, and we ended up eating fish tacos out of the mahi that I made that night. And we took most of the meat from the wahoo back and traded it to a restaurant where we uh, landed in St. John. I can feel it in his gills. He still has a heartbeat. I'm putting him down. One more picture. Okay. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. That thing still has a heartbeat. That's, oh. that's, that's, I know what you're being. I had no hand there. You feel that heartbeat. Oh, like, oh. Got one last lunge in him. One last hurrah. I am not going to be a lover. <laughs> hey, he's missing a two. He's got one last fight in him, I guarantee it. I'm not <laughs> playing with him. Yeah, now he's going to flip with the knife in your hand. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> All right. We 
you think? Lake is big. <laughs> big, big, big. big. Right on. Well, now it's time for the mess. I didn't start this thing out to be a YouTube movie star. I started this thing out to sail, to say yes for once in my life, to take a risk, to take a chance, to sit out on the open ocean and the bare Atlantic with no other boats in sight, to do something that challenged me to be a better me. That started. I have a lot of people to think, to really think for this endeavor. Uh, Eric, John D, you know who you are. I couldn't have been here without you. I couldn't have been here without your belief and the ability that I could contribute something to this industry, to this culture. And uh, I'm genuinely heartfelt. Thank you. We also have to thank the members and board members of the Grapevine Sailing Club for encouraging me to go, to do these things, to take the next step in my life and I just I, I can't imagine I just couldn't imagine anything greater coming out of this pandemic that happened and you guys were here and y'all were there for me you were there for everyone that's good people that's what the world needs
pretty princess up here taking glamour shots. The mass was 73 meters. I don't know, but look at the rake on that thing. I know. The rake is ridiculous. That is beautiful. Well, she was good to us. She took a beauty. Uh, all right. That's all for right now, Pete. We just hauled the Hanzi 548 uh, out of the water. We noticed that we were taking on water in the bilge. It was giving a bilge error. What we did not notice. That car looks fantastic. Okay. So when you pulled it out of the water, what did this so look like? So when we pulled it out of the water, it's very important to know we just went over a thousand miles on this boat. And you can look over there. See how this pin is nice and flush? See how this one's sticking out right here? Can you see that? Right there. Look at this. It just slides right out. And then the prop comes right off. Yay. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. No kidding. Thank, thank you, Poseidon. You. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So that was like that, which was just super down. We it's literally hanging on by a thread. By a thread. Comes back down. That, that's so, that's a box. Eric, what am I looking at here? So this is the bow thruster, which is up in here, and it's supposed to come down and swivel down. There's a plate that comes up here. Somebody obviously hit something very, very hard in here and destroyed the whole mechanism that fits in here. So we went a thousand miles with this big old I
Hold on, there you go, you're on. All right, this is Evan. What's your sailing school, man? Suede Sailing School in the BVI. I've been operated for 23 years here, one of the longest running sailing schools in Tortola. Outstanding. Um, here we have two of our uh, cruising catamarans, our Lagoon 46, Tie to Your Life, and our Astro 42, um, Boomerang. There's the owner, Mark Stanton, right there. And Scotty, working hey, on the engine. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Good, how's it going? Outstanding. <laughs> So this is the famous boomerang we were trying to outrun the whole time, yeah, huh? Yeah, you, you managed uh, to do it. <laughs> What's up, Scott? Hey, 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 man. man. How are we doing, guys? <laughs> hey, 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 oh, my gosh, look at this. Hey, Congrats on the, uh, winning the race. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Cheers, bud. You know Thank you. I like to roll. Oh, yeah. 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 Get up here, you sorry oh. son. Give me a corona and give me a kiss. Oh, <laughs> in that order. Oh, good to see you, man. <laughs> we had a fantastic yeah. sale. The whole boat and everything. Yeah, it was fantastic. You didn't even know you. We didn't even know it. How's it going, America? Nice to meet you, Chad. Mm. Josh, nice to meet you guys. John? This is John. Hey, guys, how are y'all doing? I'm doing a fun time with you. John, how you doing? Really John I'm Matt. Fantastic. You're Matt? Mark. 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 Hold on, I, I got whale's tail in my hand here. <laughs> I apologize. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. There we go. How'd you guys had an interesting sale down? Uh, we had a fantastic sail down. It was uh, it was quite the ride. That boat, that Hansi is fast, man. Oh, yeah. Super fast. I looked smell the dock lines. I didn't tighten them back up. Oh, that's why. I got... <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Sheet happens, right? Breaking the new ding, you know what, man? Yeah. That's why we don't have nice things. Uh, for some reason, choke. First of all, I'm trying to get the air filter intake off so I can get to the choke lever. Okay. And of course, it's, it's locked up and it's spun. Okay. Actually, what I was really doing is getting ready to get the hose and watch the video. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's take a look at the. Uh, the famous boomerang for this trip because this is the one that they told me I'll go run. So, God, she's gorgeous. Look at this. Fantôme Frozo. Boomerang. It's gorgeous. Look at that fly bridge. Somebody's dumping their bilge right now. <laughs> so that's. Thousands of pounds of water, and you know, we're still cooking around the left. Gorgeous. So, how old is this? Uh, what year is this Fontaine Project? 2022. 2022. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This is a tight of your life. Also, world class vessel. The sailing school here, BVI. One of the oldest run sailing schools in the world. And we're here. Village K. Straighten out. All right. Outside the line in Village K, guys. Right. This is a boat rescue. The 911. Rescue right here. Look behind you. Oh. Three hour tour right there. Oh yeah. There's Gilligan's boat. Here we go. Outside the lines, guys. We are on a 2022 Fontaine Peugeot, and uh, I'll show you around for a second. You know that ugly bastard. That's Eric. And uh, look at just marvel at the interior of this place. It's amazing. And um, we uh, 
So what happened? So my glasses are different, right? Go ahead, make fun of them. They, uh, <laughs> I lost my shady rays in the, uh, in the marina where we were docked. And <laughs> oh my God, it was absolutely hilarious. He's in our, he's in so much pain, but he's like, ass, let's all go. I'm like, oh my God. Because why, why was I in pain? So what happened was John dove down to try and get his glasses. He's already got an ear problem. So his ears all busted up. And so he's like, he dives down about 10, 11 feet, but he hurts his ear, uh -huh. comes back up. So we have to try and get some alcohol. You gotta get something in there. Some rubbing alcohol. Yeah, so it's gonna infect it. Infect it. And you know, there's organisms in the marina and stuff. So he wants to get some rubbing alcohol. So we go to the store, get some rubbing alcohol. As we come out, he's like, I wanna put it in right now. So we get it out. It's like, put two drops in. Just two drops, put two drops in. As he puts two, I, I go, okay, two drops in, drops, drops, drops. He's like in so much pain, he reaches over, as he leans over like this, he farts. <laughs> It's just the loudest, and there's a bunch of people around. Oh, there's so many people oh, around. And like, one lady walks by and she goes, Oh, son, I'm so sorry. Yeah, one lady walks by, <laughs> Oh, son, I'm so sorry. It's oh, it's gonna hurt. I'm like, Yeah, it was pretty, it was really.